So hi guys, after trying to set up the STM cube uh, configuration of the STM32 F3 discovery board, then we can then proceed to check uh, if the setting is correctly being set and deploy it to the hardware. But the first thing we just need to config, we just need to check first the high resolution timer. So you can see here that I have set this uh, high resolution con configuration for timer B to have a resulting PWM period of like 250 kilohertz. The repetition counter is every 16 uh, periods, means to say that I'm expecting a interrupt on the 16th uh, cycle of my, of my PWM. And you can see here that I've set it in a certain way that the repetition update is being set. Yeah, update on repetition table. And then interrupt request sources selection. I also add in the repetition timer. So when you have your uh, Simulink model and also the support package uh, from SD, then you can already see some blocks available that you for you to use so right now i'm just using the hr timers so it's actually the high resolution timers and this is the things that you can use but right now i'm just using config and enable later on maybe we need to use stop we need to use get and we need to use set it depends on your program so after after putting all the blocks Let's say uh, you have already the start, so this one would actually tell your code to start. And the configuration is quite, uh, there's a lot of things that you need to do, but right now I just want to have like a fault interrupt and a repetition timer B interrupt. So if you double click on HR timer config, so you can see there I have put a check mark on fault one, and in timer B, you can see here that I just put a check mark on the repetition. So what happens here is that the the MATLAB or the software would actually the, the, the Simulink support package would actually get the data from your IOC file and it will load it directly to your Simulink. So you can see there that uh, uh, this one should be uh, these values that you have set in the IOC file would be the same as your uh, the the as as what is written in the blocks. So after this one, you can you can you can look onto the the way that I have uh, placed the the interrupt request. So interrupt uh, the the interrupt should be placed on a function block because it's like I'm going to call you, then you need to finish in a certain time. But right now we're not specific on the execution time yet, but I'm just going to show you how we going to use the interrupts and put it in a way that it's actually doing something. So right now I just add in, in my repetition, so you can see here the first interrupt is actually the fault. The second interrupt is actually the, the repetition timer for B, which means to say that every 16 uh, periods of my PWM, I'm going to fire my repetition uh, interrupt. So you can see that it's a dashed line and I'm just actually just trying to blink GPIO B, which in my case it's the pin number 7 of, uh, of port B. And pin number 7 is actually the uh, the uh, PB7 LD uh, on the LED on the bottom of discovery board. So if you have done that one, then you can just click on this build model. So sometimes if you have a very huge uh, model and you have all these configurations, like you have ADC, you have D DAC, you have HR timers, you have I squared Z, most of the time the, the, the support package that SD has made would actually log, like you need to wait for a certain time and it would really uh, slow down uh, your, your your process. But I think it's still good enough. I think less than five minutes is done already. So right now you can see here that uh, the code has been successfully generated and then you can just click your open project. Then you can see everything will be down, 
it will be copied to that certain folder. Uh, the middleware is actually what MATLAB has generated. Uh, the application software is just the common way of writing down the 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 SDM uh, 32 uh, programs. So you can see here, this is the the main file that MATLAB would generate. But the thing is, it's actually just calling this uh, h uh, uh, this this step this 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 step function. But all the while, because everything is written in like uh, interrupt routines. So you can see that the interrupt routines is actually written in our repetition timer. You can see there, repetition timer event callback. And I have my uh, GPIO toggle pin, uh, G GPIO B and G GPIO pin seven. And that's it. So click build and then load it directly to your, uh, uh, to your board.